So, Gladiator Guild Manager is releasing into 1.0, and in this video we're going to be going through, is it worth playing this game? A massive thank you to Keymailer, the devs and the publishers for giving me a key to play. And you start this one off, there's tournaments and stuff, but you have a campaign, and the campaign is what I have played. And what happens is you basically start off with absolutely nothing, you then have to use the Gladiator Market, like there's tutorials and stuff that's going to teach you how to do all these things. But you have to go to the Gladiator Market, and you need to purchase some Gladiators, you need to get some items and stuff in the guild you can buy new buildings which are going to, to help you either summon like a new gladiator like be able to buy them and then basically what happens is there is a timeline at the top of the screen and you have to advance through that timeline and every week you can go into an arena you can basically get a little bit of xp for some of your gladiators there's also going to be events that pop up at the top right you are going to change the reputation for the different i'm going to call them leaders you'll see those at the top left and their current reputation standing and then every now and then you're going to have like discounted prices in the gladiator market discounted prices in the item market some of these events and stuff are going to be quite high in their difficulty level you're going to have to fight like bosses and things like that and basically the whole point of this game is to go through the timeline you are going through the different arenas there are 12 of them in total and each one gets progressively more difficult so you really do need to strategize in this game i wouldn't focus on having for an example 20 level 4 gladiators i would try and get like five gladiators up to level 20 or, or something like that you need to work on some gladiators being a high level and you need to have a good like team composition you can't just go right i want five purifiers it's not going to work out but every single month you are invited to an arena for a tournament and the first one on the farm will have you with five fights then you'll go to six fights then seven and the enemy types the enemies themselves like how many there are their levels and stuff they all increase as you get further so you really do need to focus on working on your gladiators because you can very easily lose these fights and when you are in a fight if you're like if any of your characters die you will have to either spend a mana crystal or just wait until they revive so they're basically out of that tournament once they're dead and as well as this game having multiple difficulties you can play on there is also a permadeath feature so if you're willing to take the risk then you can switch that on and then if any of your gladiators die they are gone forever you cannot revive them so there's a lot of different like settings you can change to make this game as easy or as hard as you want it to be but strategy definitely comes into it you can't just go into a battle with no strategy and win it and that is pretty much all you do. You just apply your items and consumables to your gladiators. You level them up. You focus on certain aspects of them. So for a rhino, you would go with strength because they are the tank of the team. Whereas something like a shaman, you would focus more on agility and intelligence because they sit back more often and they're going to be more magic based. So when it comes to playing the campaign on Gladiator Guild Manager, it's all about basically if you enjoy this style of game. If you like the idea of it, you like the idea of strategizing and working on leveling up gladiators and stuff, then this is definitely the game for you. However, even on normal difficulty, this game can be quite challenging. So if you want a game that's more chill, even easy mode is probably going to need quite a lot of strategy. But in my opinion, based on the time I've had with it, I'm going to say this game is definitely worth playing. I really enjoyed the different types of gladiators I was allowed to have. The fact that you actually have to spend different resources to not only unlock new buildings for new gladiators, but also to level them up so that you're getting new gladiator slots and stuff. I like the way they've done the events and how you're building up the reputation. The game is a lot of fun and is not too expensive either. So to answer the question, is Gladiator Guild Manager worth playing? In my opinion, I think yes, it is worth playing. And what we are going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this game in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.